Welcome to this quick guide where I'm going to show you how to fix or troubleshoot any sound issues on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you get any value out of this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. But to get started with the guide, if you're having sound issues on Windows 10 or Windows 11, I'm going to show you a few things that you can try to fix your sound. And although my computer is running Windows 10, you can follow this guide if you're on Windows 11 as well. So for starters, we need to check that you have the correct driver installed for your sound device. So the first thing you need to do is you need to right click on your start button. Then you need to click on device manager. Once you have the device manager open, you can click on the view tab. Then you can click on show hidden devices, just so we're sure that we see all the devices on your computer. Now on this list, you want to find the sound video and game controllers. Then you want to double click on that so you can open that. Now this is all the sound video and game controllers that I have installed on my computer and yours will look completely different. But what you want to find on this list is your sound device. Now for me and most people, you should have a Realtek high definition audio device or some sort of high definition audio device. Here's an Nvidia high definition audio device and that's the audio that's connected to my graphics driver. So I'm not interested in that right now. Most likely you'll also have a Realtek HD audio device. So that's going to be the default playback device. Now for me, I have a USB headphone or USB external speakers connected to my computer. And that's why I have these USB sound devices as well. The Realtek audio driver is the one that I'll be using if I connect external speakers to the AUX input on the motherboard. And if you have a laptop, it'll also be your Realtek drivers or your built-in sound drivers because laptops have built-in speakers. And then you can also connect an AUX cable to the audio output jack on your laptop, which will use the same drivers as the built-in speakers. But the point I'm trying to make is if you have a look at these drivers, you shouldn't have any yellow exclamation marks. If you find your sound output device on this list and you right click on it and you click on properties, the device status should say that this device is working properly, exactly like you see here. Now, if it's not working properly, the first step that you can try is you can click on the driver tab up here, then you can click on update driver, then you can click on search automatically for drivers, and then Windows is gonna try and find the best driver for your sound device. In most cases, you'll see this message that says the best drivers for your device are already installed. And from here, you can click on this option to search for updated drivers on Windows Update. You can click on that. It's going to open Windows Update on your computer. And you'll need to see if you have a View Optional Updates tab. If you click on that and you click on Driver Updates, you can have a look here to see if there are any sound drivers available that you can select and then click on Download and Install so it can install that sound driver. Now for me, this isn't a sound driver, so I'm just going to deselect this and I'm just going to exit out of Windows Update because I'm going to show you another way that you can download and install or even update your current audio drivers. So to do that, just click OK on this window. Then you can minimize the device manager, open up a browser on your computer and then go to this web page, which is the Snappy Driver Installer Origin web page. And by the way, I'll also have a written guide linked in the description of this video and you can find this link in my written guide. But you need to make sure that you're using the Snappy Driver Installer Origin by Glenn De La Hoy from this webpage because there are other versions of this app which might come bundled with malware and adware and all of that. So you need to make sure that you're getting it from this webpage. But once you're here, you can scroll down and you can click on download now. It's going to open up a new page and on this page you can also scroll down to the download application section. Then you can click on this snappy driver installer origin link. If you click on that, it's going to start the download. Once it's finished, just click on the folder so you can show it in your downloads folder. Now this is going to be a zip file, so you'll need to extract these files and you can do that by right clicking on it. And then you should have an extract all option somewhere on this list. I don't have it because I have WinRAR and 7-Zip installed. So I'm just going to use 7-Zip to extract these files to a folder. So I'll click on that. And it's going to create this new folder with the extracted files. Here you want to run this snappy driver installer origin exe file. You also have a 64-bit version, but for most people the normal file will be fine. So you can just double click on that to run it. And then this is the screen that you should be seeing. And then here you can just click on accept. Then you're going to see this welcome screen. Now it's very important that here you only select download indexes only. Click on that. Then up here where it says click here to select updates. Click on that. 
Make sure that only indexes are selected. Click on this PC only, then click on accept and OK. You'll most probably need to wait a minute or two, but it's going to start downloading the indexes for the available drivers that you have on your system. Now, as you can see here, I've got a few results here. And obviously you can use this application to update all of the drivers on your system, not just the sound drivers. But for this tutorial, we're only going to be focusing on the sound drivers. So if you have a look down here, you can see that I have a Realtek high definition audio device. And it says that there's an updated driver available on the internet. And if you click on this arrow, you can see all of the available Realtek drivers that's available for your system. But the farther you go down, the older the drivers get. Now, once again, you might not have a Realtek sound device in your computer, but just have a look on this list if you see any audio drivers and you'll know it's an audio driver by looking at the speaker icon here. Now to install the latest audio driver, you just need to select the first one that you see on the list. And once it's selected, just click on install. And if you hover your mouse up there, you'll see the status of the download and installation of that driver. And then once the driver is downloaded, it's going to install it, as you can see down there. And then it's going to tell you that it's successfully installed. And then you can just click on this flashing ribbon up here. And if you click on that, it's going to hide that driver from this list. So as you can see here, I've got no more sound devices that I need to install using the Snappy Driver Installer. Now let's continue with the other troubleshooting steps. I'm just going to right click on the Snappy Driver Installer and then close this window. Now, if we go back to the Device Manager, like I said before, this is exactly what it should look like. You shouldn't have any yellow exclamation marks. And if you right click on a device and you click on Properties, and if you followed all of the steps up until this point, it should be working properly. Now next you can close these windows and then you can do a search for the control panel and then open the control panel app on your computer. Next, just change the view by setting to large icons and then you want to find sound. Click on that and it's going to open this new window. Now make sure you're in the playback tab up here. And then here you'll basically see the same devices that you saw in the device manager. Now, like I mentioned before, I have USB speakers connected to my computer. That's why I have a USB PNP sound device and they don't use the Realtek drivers. They have their own drivers that gets installed as it's a plug and play USB device. But most likely for you, you'll have Realtek HD audio or some other manufacturer's audio device in your computer. And what you need to find on this list is the speakers for that other manufacturer. As you can see, I have speakers, I have Realtek HD Audio second output, and then I have a Realtek digital output. But you'll need to find the speakers on this list. As you can see, they're not plugged in right now, but if I go ahead and I connect a device to the audio jack, you can now see that the status has turned to ready. Now from here, you can right click on the speakers, then you can click on properties. Then in this new window, you can click on levels and here you can make sure that your volume is set to max volume. And then you can also make sure that this icon here is not disabled. It needs to be enabled and then you can click on OK. Now in this window, what you also need to check is if you right click on any one of these devices, just make sure that you have show disabled devices and show disconnected devices checked. And once you've found the speakers, just make sure that it is enabled. You'll see if I disable this device, it'll show that it's disabled. So the device that you want to use for audio playback, you need to right click on it and make sure that it is enabled. But once you've done that and you right click on it and you click on test, you'll see these bars, these green bars at the right here, they light up, meaning there is sound being played from that device. Now, if you're still having issues, you can right click on the speakers again and then click on properties and then go to the advanced tab. And then you can have a look at what settings you have here. For example, here I have enable audio enhancements. You might need to turn that off if you still have some issues with your sound. And then also if you go to the spatial sound tab, you might also need to turn this off or on depending on if you still have issues. Now if I show you what the USB plug and play audio drivers looks like instead of the Realtek HD audio drivers, if I go to these properties, you'll see I have some more tabs here. I also have the levels tab where I can control the volume and then I have an enhancements tab. And if you have an enhancements tab, you might also need to disable all these enhancements so they don't interfere with your sound. And then if you click on advanced, you'll have the same window as before. 
and then the same with spatial sound. But those are the settings that you can play around with and then you can click on apply and OK. And as you can see, this is my default device for audio playback, the USB sound device. But if I wanted the other speakers that I connected to my Realtek HD audio jack to be the default, I can just right click on it and then click on set as default device and right click again and click on set as default communication device. That's going to ensure that it's the default device. So if I go ahead and play any sound now, it's going to play through those speakers. And once again, you can just right click on it and test it. And then you'll hear the sound playing from your speakers when Windows tests that device. Now, lastly, just before we end the video, if you have a laptop and it has built in speakers and you followed all of these steps and you test the sound, but you don't hear anything from the speakers, it most likely means that you have some sort of hardware fault and that your speakers aren't functioning properly anymore. One test that you can do is you can plug in external speakers or you can plug in headphones into the audio jack on your laptop and then do the test again. If you hear sound via the external speakers or your headphones, it means the sound drivers are correctly installed and your sound card is working properly, but the speakers that are built into the laptop aren't working anymore. And in that case, you can take it to a computer shop and see if they can repair it or replace it. But in most cases, it's just cheaper and easier just to use external speakers. But that's been my guide on how to fix or troubleshoot any sound issues you might be having in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I hope this guide's been useful. Please like the video and I'll talk to you guys soon.